my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. My name is Rimelda Thompson and thanks for tuning in today. So today I will be preparing a quick and easy dish, tuna casserole. If you want to see how this is done, continue watching. So for this dish, you would need two boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese, a tin of tuna fish, a half of an onion, some Hellman's mayo, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and salt. And of course, a half of a lemon. Now I have two and a half cups of boiling water on the stove, and to that I am adding the two boxes of Kraft macaroni. I'm gonna allow them to boil until they're soft, or until all of the water has evaporated out of the pot. I'm giving them a quick stir. While that is cooking, I am preparing the onion. So I cut off a half, about a half of the onion, and I'm gonna do my best to chop this as fine as I can because I don't like to see the onion in my food. Be careful, this knife is very sharp. Now you can also um, add green peppers, celery in this if you wish, and also frozen vegetables, but I'm not doing that today. I just reduced the heat. Now I'm using my manual opener to open up the tin of tuna. I'm using, right now I'm gonna put my dishcloth over the can to help stabilize it so I won't have an accident because the can edge is very sharp. I'm just working this opener. I'm an island girl so I know how it's done. Now here I am, I am draining the brine from the tuna fish. You don't want that in your casserole, so I'm just gonna drain that off. I'm raking the tuna fish into a dish so that I can give it a quick rinse. Every time I'm working with tuna fish, I always rinse the additional brine off as much as I can. So I'm breaking it onto the dish, preparing it for a bath, right from the zinc. Put a little bit of water, I'm going to use my hand to strain it. Should have used my sieve, but this would work for now. Okay, you're going to lose a little bit, but that's okay. Just take your time and do it slowly. Just like so. I'm giving my hand a quick rinse. About two drops of bleach. One, two. Same bleachy hand, I'm gonna rub that in the zinc. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, I'm checking my noodles. Okay. Look like it's ready. I am turning off the stove and just giving it a quick stir. Okay, right now I'm adding in the onions. I'm combining that with the noodles or the pasta. Yes, right now I am um, adding the garlic salt with parsley flakes in it. 
about a half a teaspoon of that. Combining that as well. That's the garlic salt. Quick taste. Now I'm putting a few drops of lemon onto the tuna fish just to cut down that fishy scent smell. pepper flakes and a pinch of salt now I'm going to add that into the pot combine all of that together Here comes the mayo. It says Hellman's bring out the flavor in your food. And that's gonna really bring out the flavor. That's gonna do the job, the Hellman's mayo. That's the flavor. Now I'm combining all of that together. Next is the milk. About a half a cup of that. And lastly is the two packets of craft cheese. Now all of that is gonna be mixed together. Then into the oven. I sprinkle a bit of parsley over the top of it just for a little bit of decoration. At the same time, I'm going to add these peanuts for my husband into the oven with the casserole. Now you have to allow this to cook for about 20-25 minutes. Bam! There you have it. Tuna casserole. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you would know whenever something new is uploaded. Share this video with family and friends so that they can see what your girl is doing here in the 242. God bless you and see you in the next one.